Today I will introduce four kinds of Japanese style spaghetti. It's an easy recipe that only takes about 15 to 20 minutes to make, so be sure to see it through to the end. Stay tuned for my appearance in today's video. What's this? <laughs> it's scallops. Is this YouTube? It's YouTube. 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 わさびを入れて皆さんはホタテを生で食べたりすることありますか食べないんじゃないカイフにして食べるないのかな生美味しいけどねでもシーフードがあるところだったら食べるんじゃない師匠キッチンドリンクあってくださいよこれ食べるよ
。大丈夫っぽい。可愛い,いね。あ、でも、一個でほら、三つもできるよ。かっこいいな。初めてやったもん。可愛い,いね。珍しいね。どうしたのちょっと帰りやってみようと思って、うん、ちょっと見た目をちょっと可愛くしようと思って、うん、YouTube 用にいいねめっちゃ可愛いねやっぱ YouTuber じゃんうんスターああいいねいいねなんかクッキー作りみたいな楽しいねキャロットスターいいんじゃないあ、ちょっと切れちゃったあ,あ、オレンジがなんかあれみたいあの紅葉のもみじあ,あ、そうだね、確かにこれ後でなんかに使おうホタテ一個もらっちゃおうかなダメだよえ、一個くださいダメダメダメダメなの、一個取ったら、うん、え、醤油ちょうだいよダメダメ一個だねダメ、パスタに使うから一つください<笑>はい。Sprinkle salt and pepper. The raw scallops are very tasty with soy sauce, but these baked with butter. Must be absolutely delicious too. While suppressing the desire to eat, save it for later to mix with spaghetti. In the same pan, cook onion until soft. Add asparagus. And butter. Although it will be higher in calories, I believe the more butter, the better the spaghetti. Season them with a pinch of salt and pepper. Stir to combine. And add milk. And heavy cream. Change the ratio of milk to cream to your liking. I like this half and half use. Add soy sauce, miso paste. Did you know miso goes well with milk and heavy cream? When miso is used in cooking, it gives a very rich flavor and is much tastier than just seasoning with salt. If you do not have miso, you can substitute soy sauce. You can also add a tablespoon of miso paste without soy sauce. Add sugar.
and stock powder bore it a little when the spaghetti is cooked transfer it to the sauce pot spaghetti will be cooked while tossing with the sauce so you may want to reduce the boiling time by a minute or so put the scallops back in the pot Simmer until thickened to your liking. ちょっといい味見してください。おお。これは味噌クリームパスタ？スパゲッティ。そうだよ。すごいね、いただきます。うん、美味しい。美味しい？うまいよ。味付け足りない。ああ、いいね。クリーミーで味噌のクリームがすごいある。味付け足りないとこある。うん、ちょうどいい。ちょうどいい。さすが師匠。よかった。じゃあ、いっか。めっちゃデリシャス。スーパーボ
Turn off the heat and let it heat through in the residual heat. Next, boil the spaghetti. Boil it a little harder because you will need to heat it up later when mixing it with the sauce. Prepare another pot or pan, put olive oil and warm garlic of low heat. Add chili peppers. Heat until garlic does not burn. After this, add the cooked spaghetti. But if the spaghetti is not yet ready, it's better to turn off the heat. Add spaghetti, spinach. and add the leftover sauce from the pan in which the chicken was baked. It's filled with the delicious extract of chicken, which is then absorbed into the spaghetti. Turn on the heat and fry the whole mixture, stirring through three. Taste and add salt and pepper to taste. The chicken flavor soaked into the spaghetti and the soy sauce was really perfectly balanced. Next one is Egg Napolitan Spaghetti. Do you know Napolitan? It's very popular Japanese style spaghetti dish made with a sauce that is tomato ketchup based. This time I made an extra delicious version of topped with an egg. So let's get started. First, shred onion. Carrot, and green bell pepper, I forgot to buy it this time, but many people put mushrooms in it, so please try it. Slice sausage. Bacon can be substituted. Boil the spaghetti. In this case, you can boil it normally. Some people like to make napolitan with spaghetti that has been overcooked and softened. Next, I'll make the sauce. Put olive oil, stir fry onion, and carrot. When they get soft, add sausage.
put to sake. Soy sauce. Ketchup. Stuck powder. And sugar. Let it simmer a little. Add green bell pepper. We prefer the peppers to have a little crunchy texture left, so I cook them shorter. When the ketchup has cooked down to this level, it's ready. Turn off the heat of the sauce. And add the spaghetti. Add a little butter at the end. The taste is completely different without it. Adding butter adds sweetness, richness, flavor, and depth. Finally, make a simple egg topping. Crack the egg and add a little sugar. A pinch of salt may be substituted for the sugar. The half boiled egg of my favorite. Omuyaki soba, which is yakisoba wrapped in thin omelette, is also delicious, but this is an important version of it, and it's also incredibly tasty. Please give it a try. The last one is garlic butter soy spaghetti with shrimp. First, season the shrimp with ginger paste, garlic paste, sake, and soy sauce. Let marinate while preparing other ingredients. Next, mix garlic, cut broccoli, cut into small pieces to be tossed with the spaghetti. Pour the spaghetti a little harder this time. Next, I will cook shrimp with garlic. Put olive oil. And put half of minced garlic. The rest will be used later.
Once the shrimps are cooked, remove them. Add a little butter to the same pot and put the rest of garlic. Then cook broccoli with it. Add salt and pepper and dash butter. When broccoli is cooked, add the spaghetti. Return the shrimp to the pot. Add more butter, soy sauce, sugar, Taste and add salt and pepper to taste. The garlic butter soy sauce is easy to season, yet it's rich and really flavorful. In addition to shrimp, you should definitely try making this dish at least once with your favorite ingredients such as chicken, bacon, and various vegetables. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye!